Okay, um, hello everyone. All right, so in the last video we talked about the system.out.println statement, okay? The system.out.println statement, and we mentioned that it prints whatever you've told it to print, and it, it ends it with a new line character. So this video we're going to talk about the system.out.print statement without the ln, and there's a difference. So first of all, let me go ahead and save this file. I'm going to hit compile. It's going to prompt me to Save it. Now, this is the output for the old video, so ignore that. Let me just go ahead and create another folder. And I'm going to call this now just print. And save this here as print dot. Well, the name of the class, again, has to be the same as the name of the file. So let's just do this. Um, well, we, we can actually even use print as a keyword, right? So let's just stick with our first program. It's fine our first program because the name of the your file your java file has to be the same as the name of your class so i'm going to save this and refine compiled without errors the name of the file is the same as the name of the class but i've saved it as an under the print folder as our first program the java compile it it creates the class file when i run it now this is going to display first line now you think that no, it's fine. You think that, oh, okay, it's doing exactly the same as the system that out the print element statement, right? Except that when I copy this statement and I paste it on the next line and I call the second line, now you think that it's going to display on the next line, right? So let's go ahead and compile this. Oops, I have a problem. This is supposed to be system and not just, not YSTM. So system, compile this and run this so I don't know if you can see the difference between the system that out the print Ellen and a system that out the print the system that out prints its job is to just print stuff on the screen without ending it with a new line so it prints whatever you told it to print it prints your argument again without without the quotation marks so it prints your argument without the quotation marks and then it waits there. It doesn't end with a new line. If we had a print ln, it would have printed our first line, move the position to the next line, and then anything that comes after the first line will be displayed on this next line here. But the system that out that print only prints what you thought it to print. That's it, and it, it waits for you right there. It doesn't end it with a new line, and that's why when you call the system that out that print again, it continues exactly from where it ended onwards. If I go ahead and I paste the third line, again, I have system, it's supposed to be system. The third line, and I can compile this and I run it. Just one moment, you can see that everything is, is just jumbled together. It displays my first line, it displays my second line, and it displays my third line. It doesn't separate it with a, with a line. So that's the difference between the print and the print ln. Print doesn't end your line with a, with a new line, okay? It just prints your, your statement, your argument, and waits for you. Anything that comes after your first argument or your first um, statement you've told it to print, your, your first string literal you've told it to print, anything that comes after that is going to continue from where it ended, okay? Now, you can see there are, there are even no spaces, okay? If you wanted a space, right? See, we can see there are no spaces here. It's displaying this space, all right, we can see that. But there's no space at after after this E, right? So that's why it's, they're jumbled up together. If I wanted a space, I can just put a space here like this. So in that case, it's going to print. Let's just compile this and run it. It prints the first line. It also prints my space. Okay, it prints my space, and then it continues from second line onwards. It doesn't end it with a new line. So that's how the print function works. There's a difference between the print and the print function. The print, sorry, the print and the print ln function. The print ln function prints what you've told it to print and then ends it with a new line. Okay, moves, uh, immediately moves the position to the next line. Anything that comes after it is displayed on that next line. The print function just prints your, 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 your literal, your argument, with other quotations, and then wait there. It doesn't end it, end it with a new line. Anything that comes after your first 
um, print statement, it's going to be displayed right after it. Okay, and because we use print over here too, anything that comes after this is going to be displayed right after it here. So that's the difference between the print ln and the print function. This is how the print function works. So these are the two differences. Um, you see more of them as we as we learn Java. So that's it for now. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to respond to them. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, bye-bye.